Hey everybody, it is Brian Shannon here from alphatrends.net. Today is Friday, it's January 3rd, 2014, and uh, let's take a look at these markets. We'll start with the numbers. The uh, market did pull back the last couple days, and the S&P 500 down a little less than 1% uh, year-to-date. NASDAQ 1.5%, so we're seeing a little bit of profit-taking, and uh, we saw a bounce in gold this week up 2.7%, and the bonds bounced a little bit as well. So let's take a look at the chart action and see uh, what we have here. The S&P 500 still obviously in a primary uptrend. It's above a rising 50-day moving average in this trend line. Uh, we have the potential next week for support to be tested. Uh, down here at about 180, 180. That's this prior resistance has the potential to become support now. And as we are below a declining five-day moving average, and it seems as though at least for two days we're stuck below it, that does tell us intermediate term we need to be very cautious here. And it seems as though it's likely for a little bit further correction to continue from here. So keep it in mind uh, for next week that uh, a test of this uh, just one under, uh, 180, 180 ish area does seem likely at this point. Um, we'll see what the market does give us, but of course we want to go into it and say, where you know what's the uh, what's the scenario right now? And the scenario is it looks like we're due for a little bit further profit taking, but we're still within a primary uptrend. Just because the calendar turned to 2014 doesn't mean we're turning bearish by any means. The primary trend is still higher as it is in the Nasdaq as well. We can draw a similar trend line, and we'll see if this gets hit next week. This prior resistance right in here kind of ties in uh, to it uh, at about that uh, 86 and a half ish level so we'll see if 86 and a half which we're pretty much on um, does offer any support uh, but again with us with this market sorry for all those messy lines below the declining five-day moving average and broken support here we're gonna need to see this market back above 8750 uh, 87 and a quarter to 8750 here's our band of resistance uh, that we're gonna want to see uh, taken out next week in order for this market to uh, give us a little bit of reassurance on the upside. Otherwise, we're just going to watch it bleed off a little bit and maybe make some scalps to the short side. But there's still good stock setups on the uh, long side and in individual stocks, of course, as there always are. The Russell 2000 broke down on Thursday uh, and uh, tried to recover here today. But you can see that we are still below that declining five-day moving average and that this prior support in here is right at that level as well. So 115, 115 and a quarter next week. If we can get back above that level, and hold above it, then maybe the buyers retake control. But we'll go into next week thinking that we need to be a little bit more cautious about this market overall. And perhaps we're going to come down to that 20-day moving average where we had this little uh, high right here too. So about 113 does look reasonable for next week. Uh, but if we can get back above 115, 115 and a quarter, then I think that the uh, you know the intermediate term uh, still is controlled by the buyers if, if it's back above that level. The semiconductor is pulling back a little little bit as well and this is a line I had drawn in the other day at about this 4150 ish level 4155 that's uh, an area of potential support for the uh, semiconductors they've been very choppy lately here they did break this little downtrend uh, I'm sorry uptrend line and uh, you know the daily time frame though you still look at it and it, it is bullish the uh, financials had a good day they were up 0.69 percent and uh, this group is higher for the year uh, so far and we're only two days into it of course but we are at uh, new highs and um you know the the the, uh, the important levels that we were looking. You know, yesterday on Thursday, that is, I told subscribers that if we uh, can't get back above that five-day moving average right here, that it seemed likely we would come down to 2160. Well, we obviously held that support, so 2170 is going to be important for next week. As long as we remain above that, buyers will uh, uh, continue to get the um, uh, benefit of the doubt. The uh, shares of gold, uh, gold were up this uh, this week in the last two days after uh, hitting new lows uh, on the final day of trading in uh, in 2013. We are still in a primary downtrend. If they don't scare you out, they'll typically wear you out. And I would expect that this bounce is just that, a uh, bounce that will likely fail, uh, as most uh, rallies do fail when we have a declining 50-day moving average. So uh, don't think that uh, the market has miraculously turned back higher. The uh, TLT is still quite vulnerable here. This is a 20-year uh, 
bond, and it it seems as though it still has a chance of getting into the the mid 90s or mid to low 90s, uh, based on that head and shoulders pattern we've been pointing out for several months, and we are below the declining 10, 20, and 50 day moving average. Shares of Apple came down right to their 50 day moving average here uh, late in the day, and I've been saying the last few days that we wanted to stay away from Apple as it was below the declining five day moving average, and uh, once it broke this support in here, then it seemed like the 50 day moving average was likely to be tested. Of course, it was tested here today. The 50 day moving average at 540.32, and today's low was uh, 540.43. Uh, so um, we basically hit it. And, um, you know, I would expect that for Apple, uh, we're, it's likely we'll see some stability uh, try to get formed here early next week. Ideally, maybe we would shake out a little bit down towards 535 and then get a little bit of a bounce. But it's still, uh, you know, it's, it's I, I wouldn't be an aggressive buyer of Apple in here because it's just uh, kind of turning sideways and at the low end of that range. Some of the other... Um uh, movers in this market recently obviously have been Twitter uh, continue to bounce back here you know the, this past week uh, had a, a strong week and if you look at the volume weighted average price since the high in Twitter um, we're, we're well above that so that five day moving average I think about 66 next week is going to be an important level for uh, shares of Twitter some of the uh, I mean we had some great winners again this week in, in alpha trends today we had this um, uh, XONE and we've had uh, um, you know, a bunch of other ones that uh, are always the same approach that we're looking for trend continuation. And uh, again, I would encourage you to take a look at uh, alphatrends.net if you haven't done so already. Thanks for tuning in and have a great weekend.